Hello, Simon here from Gorilla Apps. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of our latest app, Client Portal Builder for Monday.com. The app is available in the Monday Marketplace and it can be used to create and manage client portals directly from within Monday.com. So let's dive right into it. To get started, you first of all need to create one board that contains all your clients. In this case, I already created one with two clients, client A and client B. If you click on one of the clients and head over to the client portal builder item view, this is where you can then define multiple accounts that can log in on behalf of that client. In order to manage the client portal, we're going to head over to the client portal builder board view. If we click on builder here, this is where we create all the pages and the content of each page that gets shown on the client portal. So in this case, we have five pages and each of them have different content sections. In the client portal itself, it then looks like this here. You see in the sidebar, we have all the pages. And if you click on a page, you get the content displayed in the main area here. So we currently support a few different section types. We'll now go through all of them. The first one is board grid. This can be used to display board items in a grid view. So for example, here we have a grid view where each grid item contains an image on the top and some information in the card down below. Next section type is board table. This can be used to display Monday items in a board, sorry, in a table view. And um, this then looks like here, for example. So then we have the call out section type. This can be used to create, um, yeah, notes or success messages like here above um, to highlight some information to the user. Then we have the embed section type. This can be used to, for example, embed a Monday work form into your client portal like you see here. Last but not least, we have the text section type and as you can already imagine, it can be used to create a text including a headline. So here one important thing to know is that you can use placeholders in your text, um, which we're doing here. And um, the way it works is that um, these placeholders get filled with um, values that come from the client's board. So um, in this case, the client name or like the, the item name of the client item gets pulled out and um, displayed here. So um, in order to get an overview of all available placeholders, yeah, click on placeholders up here and um, all the placeholders get listed. So if you add more columns to your client's board, um, you can access all those columns through placeholders. So there are multiple ways to um, aggregate board items and then show them into the, in the client portal. I'll now quickly go through all the available options you have in the app. The first one is um, the possibility to show the sub items of the client item in the client portal. And this is what we're basically doing here. So um, these items show up in this table. The next option is um, that you define, for example, one board per client. And then you want to show 
the items of um, yeah, the client related board in the client portal. We have this case here with, where we have like a, a board client A marketing project and another one client B marketing project. And um, here we configured the client portal to now show um, this entire board of client A um, um, here. So um, then the next possibility is that you have one board with a lot of different items and some of these items should be visible to client A and the others to client B. Um, you can make that happen by adding a connect board column that connects the client's board and then um, you can select the client um, for which each of these items should be visible. So um, here like the first three are visible to client A and these two are visible to client B and um, the client portal looks then like this here where the three items that are visible to client A show up. So um, the last option you have is to display an entire board in each, to each client. Um, so this is this example here where basically all items of the real estate board get displayed here. And um, when client B logs in, he will also see all the items of um, of the real estate board. So every client sees every everything in this um, example case. Okay, so let's head over to the settings area of the client portal. If we go scroll down here, there are like a few theme settings. Um, you can define some colors like the primary color, text color. And um, you can also upload your company's logo. And um, this will then appear on the top left corner of your client portal. Um, so over time we will be adding more options to the themes area, which will also let you control, for example, the font family, font size, and stuff like that. If we scroll up here, um, we have this, authoris this um, authorization section where you define the integration user. So when, when you set up the client portal for the first time, this is also one of the first things you have to configure is um, setting up the integration user. And this is basically the Monday user um, that gives the app permission um, so that the client portal is able to make a connection to monday.com and um, this integration user can be then changed here in the settings area. Um, next we have the custom domain section. This can be used to um, that you can connect your own custom domain with the client portal. And um, then uh, this uh, yeah, will basically create a SSL certificate for you and um, yeah, ho hook up the domain. There's also a separate video um, which describes this in more detail. And um, then we have the customization section this is um, when you want to hire us to make some additions to your client portal because at the moment we have like some section types but um, of course they don't cover everything and um, yeah the theme settings you can change some colors but you might need more things in your client portal than this 
and um, this is where you can hire us for some contract work where we add like some custom section that um, yeah are available then in your client portal and in order to unlock those customizations then in your client portal you get a customization key from us and you put it in here and then um, those customizations will be available in your portal. So that's basically it for now. We'll keep on improving the app over the next months. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, just send us a contact message. And um, yeah, otherwise, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.